Anthony Spurs, they're odds on favorites on the road, minus 143, Bournemouth hosting them. They're plus 400. Uh, the draw here is plus 280. Hey, got to tip your cap to Bournemouth. They've created one expected goal or more in two of their last three matches after starting the season with nine straight matches uh, where they created under one. So this offense is prolific all of a sudden, Anthony. They are prolific. This is uh, cheap, and, Anthony. This, this is, is this, cheap. It does feel a little cheap on Spurs here. The fatigue is an issue. The fact that they're not that good of a team is an issue. This is cheap. And the stylistic matchup, because we know what the Cherries are going to do here. They're just going to sit low at the Vitality Stadium, that small pitch, uh, and just pack it in against Spurs. And we know what's how. that's the way to kind of trip up Tottenham uh, if you are trying to punch up as an underdog. So, I've got nothing here, but I don't think Spurs are a bad parlay piece because I just think that the quality is, is, is just the difference of quality is there. So that's one thing I'll consider. Anthony, though. You got I'm not laying minus 143 with Spurs here. This is nope. cheap. Oh, come on. I'm really not. I'm not. And, and like, you would I do it with it. Liverpool. You would do it with Liverpool. Well, Liverpool's better than Spurs. Nah, they're not. They are. Uh, although we, we could talk about them in a minute, but Arsenal's you know, like what minus 250 at Bournemouth earlier this season. I mean, come on, like what are we doing here, dude? Uh, it's a terrible spot, first of all. Because I know, I know, it's there a was a world spot, where Spurs but... didn't get that last goal vart off today and they would be able to have won the group and then they could turn all their attention to this weekend's Prem match. But now they need a result in Marseille next weekend and or next week, next midweek. But I mean, Tottenham, another performance today against Lisbon, a team who is going to, who did the exact same thing that Bournemouth is going to do in this match Saturday. They're going to sit deep and let Spurs have the ball and, and say, good luck, try your best to score against us. Uh, and set pieces have been the only way Spurs have created anything for a while now without Kulisevsky. And it's a clear issue. And I tweeted it. I was like, Dayan Kulisevsky must be the best player in the world because the, the way you watch Tottenham with and without him is incredible. And look, Son and Kane's numbers are down. Their shot numbers are not what they were last season under Conte. There is, there, there's a lot of talk in, in soccer analytics about, it's called zone 14. which the area right outside the penalty area where that little like arch circle is, right? That's a key area for ball progression, getting into dangerous areas. Tottenham does not have a player who can pick a pass besides Harry Kane does not have a player who progresses the ball into that area consistently player who takes shots from that area. They don't take advantage of it. They don't have the personnel right now and it's a problem and they're going on the road in a situation where if they don't score off a set piece, it's going to be very hard for them to score. We've talked about the Brentford team or excuse me, the Bournemouth team and like how bad their attack is. And it's really bad. And like, I do think Spurs defensively will be fine here. I don't see them being too troubled but I think it's going to be a very difficult Tottenham match. Easily could see this being a 1-0 or 1-1 type game. Uh, but the Bournemouth have allowed the second most shots off set pieces. That does scare me because, look, Tottenham have looked great on set pieces. But I don't see Spurs running it up here. I don't see them incentivized to run it up. Uh, I like the under 2.5. At what price would you play Tottenham here? Probably minus curious. 110, 115. Oh, my gosh. Good Lord. Um, all right. Just I, think, <laughs> look, I, I am as created. This team is averaging... 0.6 expected goals per match, Anthony. They are horrible offense. Yeah, they're not. They're not, they're, not going to score. That's why I'm here. betting the under. You're you're oh, you're kind of making my case here. Like, oh gosh, we're Let's, we're we're just not. Look, I I I am very close to. I might, be, I might bet Spurs for you. I think I might. You, I, think I, I just might. give you the ticket. I might. Yeah, I'm gonna do maybe two <laughs> two units on Spurs once for Anthony. <laughs> That's a lot of juice, man. That's, That's fine. Okay. It's it's it is, but it's not. Against on the Bournemouth road, when you're Tottenham. Bournemouth, uh, are, look, Bournemouth are bad, but I'm not going to sit here and tell you they're good. I think they their attack is is absolutely dreadful, uh, and so it's very hard. Like, it's very hard to make the case for them, like you know, putting up a big showing here. They've taken 64 shots from open play. It's the fewest in the league. But again, this is a this is a bet against Tottenham's attack, and I think the best way to get at that is the under. 